Hey, today we're going to talk about dental hygienist job descriptions. We're going to go through some templates, some examples of how to optimize your uh, dental hygienist job posting to get you more candidates and get you more visibility on the job boards. But then actually we've got a few ideas on our interview questions and what you should and shouldn't do. So my name is Ryan with Viva HR. I'm excited to talk with you a little bit about how to help you hire this dental hygienist position. So the first thing about building the perfect job posting is it really starts with the job title, making sure that you're optimized. Oftentimes with dental roles, hours can be a little bit different between offices and specific positions. So we see this is very common, dental hygienist, Monday, Tuesday, and Friday afternoons, right? Unfortunately, in the job title, that's not the place to put it. The job boards rank the job postings based on how closely the title matches to what the candidate is searching for. Now, if the candidates always search Thursday afternoons, it wouldn't make sense to put it there. But most cases, in fact, a high, high percentage of cases, candidates are searching for the exact job title only and then they're anchoring it to the location so making sure your your job title is very specific is going to make a big improvement in your rankability the next thing is making sure we have your job title in the opening paragraph so loading it in there two to three times in the opening paragraph really helps with your relevancy score ranks you higher in the job boards now a lot of times uh, folks are posting these jobs in the sponsored areas the sponsors this isn't going to impact you as much but if you want that free traffic from the organic job postings where you're sending your job from a publisher like Viva HR or another ATS you're going to start seeing that the inclusion of the job title multiple times in the posting helps with the overall relevancy score so when the bots curl out the text they know hey this is the best job posting for the dental hygienist because it's in there multiple times the second thing that we've noticed is the opening paragraph really should tell a story about what the company is, who you are, the purpose, what makes you different. Think about those things that make the candidate excited to tell their friends on where they're working. You're not just another dental office. You're, there's something special about it. What is that? And the reason that this matters is job postings tend to be very one-sided. It's what you can do for me right we're telling the candidate what they can do for and this isn't resonating because every posting is the exact same way so in that opening paragraph if you can sell them as to what we can accomplish together and kind of our philosophy and approach to dentistry that has a major impact in conversion rates the next thing that's going to help with your ranking is the bullet points making sure you have five to seven bullet points in the roles and responsibilities kind of the duties the requirements each of these sections should have five to seven bullet points and the reason is we, we compare postings that have no bullet points, those that have a couple, and those that have five to seven. The ones that have more always get better visibility. They rank stronger in the search results. That's usually a very big impact into your postings. Now, thinking about your interview, once we start getting candidates in the door, what are some of the interview questions that we, we like to ask? Um, we have a bunch here that we feel like are important uh, to ask. One thing I'd say not to do is the gotcha questions. We have found that a lot of companies do the gotcha questions, the trickery questions. Uh, it doesn't work. Candidates don't like it. It's not really worth your time. However, taking the time to be thought engaging questions show that you care. How can we help you accomplish your goals in the next three to five years? What are you looking forward to in your life? Are there any specific things outside of work that we should be aware of that we can help support you to make sure that you have good balance in your life. Those elements, those questions show the candidate that you care. And in right now, in a lot of these markets, dental hygienist roles are extremely competitive. This is a job seekers market. There are thousands of job openings. They get to pick and choose. So making sure you're asking the questions that keep them excited uh, about the role really makes a big difference. Now, if you found this helpful and you're looking to publish your job to a bunch of job boards, get organic inclusion. Organic meaning you don't have to pay per click. This is the place. Viva HR is a great platform. We publish to all the sites. Then as candidates apply, 
you can manage them all in one centralized software and take notes, email, text candidates all from one spot. Hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Ryan and wish you nothing but the best in your hiring.